Welcome back everybody. Today I've got another laser cut blank for you. Uh, this one's called Shadow Box. It was designed by a good friend of mine, uh, Kenneth Wines, and it is being sold by another good friend of mine, Rick Cobb. Uh, I will put a uh, link to Rick's uh, website where he sells these in the description of this video. Uh, the blanks are cut on a laser and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Three different pieces of wood. This is a, a maple background with uh, looks like mahogany boxes and walnut shadows. I think it's gonna make a gorgeous pen, so let's get turning. As with all laser cut blanks, we're gonna start out by applying a coat of thin CA. And what this does is uh, it just locks all of the pieces together and it gets between the pieces and fills any micro gaps that there may be between the pieces. I do not like to uh, spin the lathe while I'm doing this because it will throw the CA everywhere. And I don't like to use activator right away. Um, I'm gonna rotate the blank by hand for about two minutes. I'll come back after it's had a chance to uh, soak in as well as it can. And then we'll hit it with a little activator right before we start turning just to avoid any messes. So I'll pause the camera and come back when we're ready to use the activator. Oh, one last thing, the reason why I rotate it, I know I've mentioned this in my other videos, but if you don't, the CA will all run to the bottom of the blank and it will put a little mountain range of bubbles on the bottom of your blank, which uh, can, they can be turned off, but they can be kind of dangerous with a blank like this. So I prefer to keep it, uh, keep it moving and keep those CA bubbles to a minimum. We've been uh, spinning the blank for about two minutes. And now I'm just gonna hit it with some activator. And uh, you can see a couple of those little mountain ranges starting to form right there where the CA had uh, run to the bottom of the blank. Nothing major, there's one forming right there. And uh, it looks like this blank is gonna be ready to turn. I'll give it just a couple of minutes for that CA or that activator to fully cure that CA and uh, we'll begin turning. want to thoroughly clean our blank before we start applying a CA finish. And a little side note here, I watch occasionally videos on uh, YouTube and I'll see people turning pins and they'll get ready to apply a CA finish and their lathe is just covered in dust and chips. Always brush or blow your uh, lathe off before you finish with your CA because if there's any air movement at all in your shop, uh, that dust can raise up and stick to your blank and it can really ruin your finish. And it only takes a second just to dust off the top of your lathe. You don't have to worry about your bench. It's primarily the lathe and anything close to your blank. We are ready to assemble our laser cut shadow box blank into this gorgeous classic nib, elegant monarch, black titanium and platinum pin kit. This is the Joshua crossband kit and it looks absolutely stunning. We're gonna start off by uh, chamfering the edge of our blank, cleaning the brass filings out. We'll pop a uh, bushing in the end of the blank to protect it. And I'm gonna look over my blank. This blank is flawless. I cannot find an issue with the blank. So I have to decide how I wanna put the clip. And I think we'll just drop it right there. There is nothing on this blank that needs to be hidden. That pressed really nicely. Take a look at that fit. Gorgeous. These are amazing kits. I absolutely love them. They're so well machined and uh, they, the components press together incredibly nicely. That's a cool looking blank. It looks three dimensional. Isn't that incredible? I think it goes great with the uh, 
black titanium and platinum kit. Love the little cross band with this. This is a gorgeous pin. I hope you're having as much fun as I am turning these laser cut blanks. This shadow box blank is just incredible. It looks three dimensional. Check it out. Is that not cool? This one's going to get some attention. Uh, I love the kit I put it on. Uh, if you're interested in uh, these laser cut blanks, or this kit from Classic Nib, I'll put the uh, web addresses for the two companies in the video description. If you would like to get an RJB Woodturner t-shirt, I have them for sale now on my Redbubble account, link in the description. And uh, over on my Etsy store, I am selling blanks as well as blank making plans. And I actually have some of my past video pins for sale. So if you'd like to take a look at that, please go check it out. Even if you don't buy anything, check the store out, give me a like. Um, it always helps push the store to other people the more likes that you get. And that goes for this video as well. I've noticed that uh, my views have been dropping off. Uh, so if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. It helps me take these videos and get them pushed out to other people who might not otherwise get to see them. I don't know how the algorithm works. I just know that the more attention the video gets, the more YouTube pushes that video. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me tonight in the shop. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.